What is going on, everybody? My name is Josh, and welcome to the long-awaited X Games recap. Okay, the MLG X Games just finished today, and guess who came out on top? The green wall prevailed. Optic Gaming takes away the gold. Nade Shot wins his first MLG championship, and the whole team gets the first ever esports gold medals at the X Games incredible incredible day um the finals were just absolutely amazing but i'm going to go in before that here is the medal bracket these were all the teams that had that were in contention to play for the gold medal and even the other medals so here's the bracket um we had the semi-final one i said two one <laughs> which was team caliber and team envious Team Caliber won that match three to one, and that was a very, very interesting, in, interesting match. Uh, the loser would have to play the loser of the sem semifinal uh, two matchup, and they would be playing for bronze. So, Envious lost, and that matchup was pretty much all TK. And I have to really give it to Sharp there. I felt that he led the team really, really well, and he just outplayed everybody and also just team caliber just played amazing today in general neslo stepped it up in snd he's the snd god in my opinion apathy and sharp came up big in dominations and blitz is 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 really an iffy one for them but i think that uh goon really played well in blitz and and so did sharp and, and the whole team played well just all all tournament long they beat envious 3-1 moving on to the semi-final two matchup we had optic gaming versus evil geniuses I uh, really quick want to talk about my predictions before the event, going into the event. What I said, my top four teams were correct. I picked the top four teams correctly, um, and I think I did a very good job at picking out those teams. <coughs> um, the, uh, wow, the, uh, the top two, or the top three, um, was the top four was right. Sorry, holy crap, I'm way off topic right now. I was looking at my screen, sorry. The top four I picked was was correct, and I did not picture TK going into the championship match. Well, the way that I predicted it was if it went the other way around. So a lot of people were saying that Envious threw the matchup against Optic so they wouldn't have to play Evil Geniuses, and they played TK. However, this is completely meaningless considering that, you know, either way, Jeez, I got something in my mouth. TK beat Evil Geniuses yesterday. So you would have to think that Envious would want to play TK or uh, Envious or, wow, EG rather than TK, considering TK beat Evil Geniuses pretty comfortably. Um, you know, it is what it is, but I don't think that they would, would have thrown that match. So TK advances Optic Gaming against EG. Now, this map match was quite close to start so evil geniuses takes the first map it was domination freight and it was really close it was like six or seven points if optic gaming really had pushed it they may have won that one but eg locked down the uh, domination on freight then we have search and destroy on sovereign nade shot absolute domination went like 11 and 4 or some crazy amount of kills he's he's so good at search and destroy it's ridiculous and then proofy gets the four piece to end the freaking match gets the ace and it was a crazy crazy ace everybody was going nuts absolutely amazing plays then we have the blitz um og won that match because basically just of their communication it was really all communication on that match it was um warhawk blitz and that was a very, very good match for Optic Gaming. It was really just the communication that kept them together. They were uh, able to defend really, really well. And I think that's what won them that match. Then you have the Domination. Um, I think that was on... Why can I not remember what the Dom was on? I want to say Sovereign or Freight. No, it wasn't Freight again. might have been Sovereign. I'm going to say Sovereign. Anyway, TP was really really carrying his team on that one <clears throat> he had like 36 kills or something but he wasn't able to pull it out optic gaming just outplayed evil geniuses and that's where i was wrong because i thought that eg would be playing optic gaming in the finals but the way it played out if envious had won against optic yesterday then they would have went on to uh play they would have been able to play eg in the finals 
AG drops down to the bronze medal match, and Evil Geniuses plays Envious, and they win Game 5, Sovereign Search and Destroy pretty comfortably, I believe, and they take home the bronze. Envious doesn't win anything, and you know what I have to say? Better with Rambo. Better with Rambo. And I know, whatever, you can say that they placed second at Niagara. Um, they still lost 0-3 at Niagara. They lost 0-3 at Champs. At least they put up two maps against EG here. Uh, you know, I feel bad for Envious because I think they should have kept Rambo. That's just my opinion. My opinion. My opinion. Okay, moving on. Finals. Gold medal matchup. Optic Gaming versus TK. I watched this whole thing. It was absolutely insane. I forget the way the maps went. Um, I forget. I honestly, I forget. Um, oh, yeah, okay. So, first match is Domination Freight. Team Caliber just plays their ass off. Sharp Magunda. Magunda Sharp. Sharp is so good on LAN, it's ridiculous. You know, I, I'd give him the MVP of this of this entire tournament if he would have won. Sharp, amazing, amazing performance. Next map, we have Search and Destroy on... <sighs> Octane? Octane. It was Octane. And Optic Gaming comes out and wins the Search. Really no... No surprise there. Optic Gaming is the stronger search and destroy team. Then we have Blitz. And I believe that TK won the Blitz. as No, TK lost the Blitz. But it was very close. They were sort of pushing, coming back. Optic Gaming was just able to hold off the... Um, hold off TK on the Blitz. It was on Warhawk. And the second side was much closer than the first side. Uh, I think... It, but it was still a close match. There was only two or three Blitz caps that they won by. So it was a very entertaining match. Which is most important entertainment overall. Then we have the Domination. And I believe the Dom was on... I'm going to go with... Uh, <laughs> I don't remember what the Dom was on. be honest with you here. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I should. I know I should write these things down. But there's really nothing I could look at to make it happen. It was on Octane. No. It wasn't Octane. Oh, man. I can't remember. Whatever. TK wins the domination, which really isn't surprising yet. Oh, Strike Zone! It was Strike Zone Dom, and I'm surprised that Oct uh, Optic Gaming did not win that Strike Zone Dom because that's normally a pretty strong map for Optic Gaming. TK pretty much just shut them down. You know, they had a, an a, a C cap, and they were just able to trap Optic and B, which is really important on Strike Zone, and they just came out on top there. Every time uh, Optic would rotate to C, they would rotate into B, grab B, and it was just a really well thought out process. Rotation was on point for TK. They took the Strike Zone Dom. Then we go into the most exciting match I have pretty much ever seen. Um, one of the most exciting matches I've ever seen. We have TK versus Optic, Sovereign Dom, uh, Search and Destroy. We go, they go up, Optic goes up 5-2, to 2 or something, 4-2 to two or something like that. It was 5-2, and then TK won two more matches, it was 5-4, 1v1 on the 10th map, 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 10th round, and there's like two seconds left. It's Goon versus Clay. Clay comes in, kills Goon. Everybody goes crazy, and Optic Gaming wins the gold medal. So very, very entertaining, guys. Such an entertaining, entertaining uh, weekend. I, I am very, very excited to see where esports goes after this. We played at the X Games, guys. The sport, the sport, sport. And notice how it's X Games, okay? X Games, we're playing a video game. There you go. Because everybody says it shouldn't be at the X Games, and I'm... I don't know. It, I think it should. I think it should. It's fine. It's worth it. Money. You know, it is It, it is what it is. Okay, so... I'm really excited to see where esports goes into the future. Advanced Warfare has a big, big gap to fill um, and, and extend. They need to extend that gap. Um, because Black Ops 2 really pushed it to the limit... Black Ops 2 was the best competitive game. This one, I think, has just gone up to Black Ops 2 now that they've played at the X Games and we're reaching into the mainstream media. Um, it's very exciting, and I can't wait for the future. I'm growing faster than ever. I might go to an event soon. I mean, Not soon, but it's possible that I might go to the event, an event, at the end of 2014. That would be absolutely crazy. Um, shout out to Brad. Brad on Twitter. 
Um, he got I Justine's autograph for me because she is one of the most beautiful girls in the history of the world. And he got it on a shirt, and he's sending me the shirt, and I'm going to have an X Games shirt with I Justine's autograph on it. That is so amazing. I Justine worship you okay you're beautiful okay anyway i'm gonna get sidetracked if you want to leave a like on the video go ahead and leave a like optic gaming fans show some support to me if we could hit 25 likes on that video that would on this video that would be pretty sweet also if you want to subscribe if you're new i'm almost at 4.5k subs so that'd be pretty cool to hit that soon thank you guys so much for all the support my name is josh i'll see you guys later peace